The echoes of Anna's screams faded into the darkness as she found herself trapped within the sinister confines of the mansion. Panic clawed at her chest as she desperately searched for an escape route, but every door seemed to be sealed shut by an unseen force. First, this is a true life story. This is how it all started. A lone figure trudged along the winding path in the desolate town of Ravenswood, nestled deep within the mist-shrouded forest. Anna, a curious and adventurous soul, was drawn to the abandoned mansion rumored to be haunted by the spirits of its tragic past. As Anna approached the decrepit gates, a warning siren pierced the air, its wails echoing through the night. But she paid it no heed, her heart pounding with excitement as she pushed open the rusty gates and stepped into the overgrown courtyard. The mansion loomed before her, its windows boarded up and its walls adorned with ivy. Despite the chill in the air, Anna felt a surge of adrenaline coursing through her veins as she ventured closer, her footsteps muffled by the thick carpet of fallen leaves. Inside, the darkness enveloped her like a suffocating shroud, broken only by the dim beam of her flashlight. Every creak of the floorboard sent shivers down her spine, but she pressed on, her curiosity outweighing her fear. Suddenly, a voice whispered from the shadows, sending a chill down Anna's spine. Leave this place. It hissed. But she brushed it off as a trick of her imagination, her determination unyielding. As she explored the labyrinthine corridors, Anna stumbled upon a room shrouded in darkness. Ignoring the warning signs, she pushed open the door and stepped inside, her heart pounding in her chest. But what she found inside would haunt her nightmares for years to come. The room was filled with eerie artifacts and sinister symbols, each one hinting at the mansion's dark past. And in the center of it all stood a figure cloaked in shadow, its eyes gleaming with malice. Before Anna could react, Act, the figure lunged forward, its unearthly shriek piercing the silence. With a cry of terror, Anna turned to flee, but the door slammed shut, trapping her inside with the malevolent presence. As the darkness closed in around her, Anna's screams echoed through the mansion, a haunting melody that served as a warning to all who dared to ignore the siren's call. The echoes of Anna's screams faded into the darkness as she found herself trapped within the sinister confines of the mansion. Panic clawed at her chest as she desperately searched for an escape route, but every door seemed to be sealed shut by an unseen force. With trembling hands, Anna fumbled for her flashlight, the feeble beam casting long, twisted shadows on the walls. Each creak of the floorboards sent her heart racing, and she could feel the oppressive weight of the mansion pressing down on her. But amidst the fear and despair, a glimmer of hope emerged. In the corner of the room, Anna spotted a small hatch concealed beneath a layer of dust and debris. With renewed determination, she pried it open, revealing a narrow staircase leading down into the darkness below. Ignoring the instinctual voice urging her to turn back, Anna descended into the depths of the mansion, the musty air thick with the scent of decay. As she navigated the winding passageways, she could feel the presence of something lurking just beyond the shadows, its malevolence palpable in the air. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, Anna emerged into a dimly lit chamber, its walls adorned with ancient tapestries and crumbling statues. But her relief was short-lived as she realized she was not alone. Standing before her, bathed in an eerie glow, was the figure she had encountered earlier, a specter from the mansion's dark past, its eyes burning with unholy fire. With a voice that seemed to echo from the depths of the abyss, it spoke. You should not have come here, mortal. It intoned, its words sending shivers down on his spine. This place belongs to the dead, and you have trespassed upon sacred ground. But Anna refused to cower in the face of the supernatural entity. With a steely resolve, she confronted the specter, her voice trembling but defiant. I will not be driven away by fear, she declared, her words echoing through the chamber. I seek the truth and I will not rest until I uncover the secrets of this cursed mansion. For a moment, the specter regarded her with a gaze that seemed to pierce straight through her soul. Then, with a solemn nod, it spoke once more. Very well, mortal. If you seek the truth, then follow me. But beware, for the path ahead is fraught with peril, and not all who venture into the darkness emerge unscathed. With that, the specter began to drift away, its form fading into the shadows. And as Anna followed in its wake, she knew that her journey was far from over, that the horrors lurking within the mansion were just the beginning of a much darker tale.